if we have two sets A and B, and I pick an element little a from set A, and an element little b from set B, then I can say we have an ordered pair little a, little b, which is just the two elements selected from the two sets in that order. Now that is not a set in the way that we've previously seen a set. Notice the different bracket notation. The curly brackets are denoting a set. So the set containing A and B only doesn't care about order. So a set containing elements little a and little b is the same as a set containing elements little b and little a. For an ordered pair, as the name suggests, that's not true. The ordering matters for an ordered pair. So where we've got sets containing AB and sets containing BA being regarded identical, the ordered pair with the elements in a different order are not the same. We can now define the Cartesian product of the sets which the elements came from. So the Cartesian product A cross B is the product of set A with set B. And the Cartesian product of sets A and B is just all the set containing all of the ordered pairs little a, little b, such as I pick little a from set A and little b from set B. Now, as the name suggests with a Cartesian product, it's named after the French mathematician René Descartes, a man who allegedly thinks therefore he is. So if I take the example of a hire company, which has got cars for hire and vans for hire. So the set of vehicles I can denote as a set containing two elements, car, van. And each vehicle is available in one of three colours, red, white or black. So I can denote the set of colours C as a set with three elements, red, white and black. Notice the set V would be the same if I wrote it as van, then car or car, then van. It doesn't matter. Similarly with colours. But I would then be able to define the Cartesian product of C cross V to be the set of all ordered pairs giving each possible coloured vehicle type. So C cross V will tell me the colour, then the vehicle type. So in this case, C cross V could be red car, white car, black car, red van, white van, black van. So because I've got three choices from C and two choices from V, then C cross V will have six choices, three times two, choices of ordered pair. Mathematically, I'm sure you already know many relations between different numbers. A relation might be something as simple as is less than or is a multiple of. But mathematically, we want to be a little bit more rigorous and formal when defining a relation between values. So if I have two sets A and B, then a subset R of A cross B is a relation from A to B. So if I define the set A to be the first 10 positive integers and the set B to be the first four positive integers, I'm now going to define a relation R as a subset of A cross B. A cross B would have 40 elements because I have 10 choices for an element from A, 
four choices for an element from B, so 10 times 4 gives me 40 ordered pairs. But I'm not going to put all 40 ordered pairs in the subset R. I'm going to put uh, 8 in there. 1, 4, 1, 3, 1, 2, 1, 1, 2, 4, 2, 2, 3, 3, and 4, 4. Now, you might be able to see what sort of in words that relation is describing. We'll do it in symbols first. In logical notation, we can say the subset R is the set of ordered pairs, all ordered pairs, little a, little b, where little a comes from a and little b comes from b, and a divides b. Because 1 divides 4, 1 divides 3, 1 divides 2, 1 divides 1, 2 divides 4, and so on. So I can write this as a, r, b, where I would write a is related to b if um, the ordered pair little a, little b is in r. So here I could say 1, r, 4, 1 is related to 4 because 1 divides 4. 1, r, 3 or 1 is related to 3 because 1 divides 3 and so on through to the fact that 4 is related to 4 because 4 divides 4. 